engage in 10 fundamental counterterrorism situations before being deployed. Report to the SAS base in Hereford. You are to infiltrate a kill house and clear the area of enemy combatants. In close quarters combat, operators must rely on situational awareness to locate and identify threats and assets. Secure the area using a slow and methodical sweep. Here, you will face a trained enemy, equipped with military-grade weapons and explosives. You will need to rely on basic muscle discipline and your ability to reduce exposure to enemy fire by using the environment. Never stop until the threat is neutralized. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm back with you today. We're going to be doing the first five Rainbow Six Siege situations on realistic um i did all these on normal before the uh for the video and they weren't too hard but oh i just i just reloaded but uh they weren't too hard so hopefully realistic isn't that much harder but i know where all the guys are pretty much and unless they move which i don't i haven't found out that they move yet there's a few maps that they move a little bit but i haven't really seen them move very much or they'll like reinforce in a different place or something. But if you guys want to see the next five um, after this, drop a like or tell me down in the description. Oh, this guy. Okay, <laughs> that was harder than I expected. Um, this one's pretty easy though. Uh, you just gotta know where the guys are, which I know where the guys are, so... And so a flashbang. Throw one in here. And then... <laughs> I almost died there, actually. <laughs> that was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. They always do the same thing though, it's like the same thing in normal and in realistic, so... At least it didn't throw me through a loop and like, a guy come up behind me or something. <laughs> in a hostage situation, you cannot be slow and methodical. Once you breach the perimeter, you must conduct a violent and dynamic assault in order to extract the hostage from a barricaded house. Use breach charges to quickly infiltrate the building. The physical safety of the asset is paramount. Breach charges give you a momentary tactical advantage to neutralize enemies and take control of the asset. Provide cover for the asset as you move to the extraction point, eliminating any hostiles you encounter. Good luck. This situation was uh, kind of hard on normal. Um, it was just one hard part. The part where you breach the side window over here into the kitchen was the hardest part. As long as you know where everyone else is at, you're fine. But, like that. <laughs> if you wait too long, he, he like runs back and forth on this. But, I used to just breach through this and just jump in. But the guy behind the counter is just gonna, he's just gonna shoot you. So, I think I'm just gonna drone it first. A guy right there, a guy right there, and a guy right there. So, um, here's a pro tip: you can see their feet before they can even see you. Um, we'll go back to auto. Pre-fire a little bit there, and we'll distract this guy with a few wall shots. And I'm pretty sure this guy is always in the same place. <laughs> Throw a stun grenade up here because there's a guy right up there. Actually, we'll throw another one because. You know what? <laughs> Still didn't see it coming. <laughs> Throw one under there. That was way too early. I'm gonna have to throw another one. Alright. 
And since we cleared that out down there, uh, there should be only one other one other guy when we extract. So. Some move. Yeah, I have no idea where this guy's at. <laughs> I think he's using a shotgun now. Yeah. That was definitely his head. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yeah. Usually you get like a guy with like a assault rifle or something. If you're unlucky in LMG, <laughs> but most of the time you just get like a regular assault rifle guy. I'm lucky I got a shotgun guy. Well done. That was a lot easier than I expected, actually. facing a bomb threat against a high-value target. It is crucial that you choose an entry point that minimizes your exposure to enemy fire and the time it takes to reach the bomb and disarm it. Repelling is the quickest way to traverse the building, allowing you to bypass corridors and stairs. Once you reach the target, you will need to disarm a bomb loaded with an unknown chemical compound. We have equipped you with a diffuser. Set it near the bomb to intercept the signal. Protect the diffuser while it completes the sequence. Must locate and defuse the bomb. This one wasn't really that hard. I mean, I guess it's kind of hard at the end, but the uh, definitely not the hardest. Whoa. Who is shooting at me? I've never had that happen. Oh, well, I know there's a guy that walks over here, so. Yeah. So I was hoping. <laughs> I usually draw him out with my drone, but yeah, it's alright. Now you gotta work somewhat fast on this map because uh, they like to rotate a lot, especially if they hear you. They'll like they'll rotate around and do stupid stuff, so. But this map's like really time consuming because of the bomb. Watching, I love watching this guy fly. <laughs> he always flies in a different direction like every time. So, kind of funny. Now, I throw a bomb here and I usually throw another bomb out there to distract them. But this time, I think I'm just gonna... Oh, wow, that was a bad idea. Because there's a guy behind a reception desk over here. And I really wanted to just throw the... I really wanted to just throw the grenade behind the reception desk. Uh oh. It didn't even blow up the door? Wow. That was crazy. I threw a grenade at the door and didn't even blow it up. That's ridiculous. Alright, well. I guess we'll just keep, hopefully we can survive with 40 health. It's kind of hard to see in here because it's dusty after you blow up the charge. But if you just fire like once or twice, you can usually see if they pop out or not. I'll try to like pop out on you like that. I try stupid stuff all the time. Wish I had another grenade. I have another charge, which I'll probably just throw on the wall here really quick. Uh oh, yeah, there's a guy in there. Right, we'll just do this. Because I see him behind the desk. There we go. I think that's all of them. 
what we really have to watch out for is when we plant this, they're either going to try to rush the diffuser or they're going to try to kill you, which these guys over here try to kill you and these guys try to rush the plant. So I like to throw the diffuser out here where they just go straight for the diffuse. And a little trick that you could do is lay down right here and look for their feet because they always rush up here. I just missed him. 45 seconds left. So this guy, there's always a guy over here that rushes. Let him rush the diffuser. It's alright. You might not get your three stars if he touches it, but I don't know, I'd rather just win. You got 30 seconds. They always come through this door. There's always a, a Montang. Sometimes there's another, oh, nine health. That's not good. Let him rush in a little bit here. Cause they're gonna rush for the diffuser, so he's gonna go straight for it. It's kind of dumb. Then they always thermite this wall right here. Go ahead and just knock that out. And there you go. Then you win. And then you can stand up and get the Montang if you want, I guess. <laughs> Airplanes have long been targeted for terrorist attacks. The mobility and the high-profile nature of the attack against random victims appeals to organizations looking to make a name for themselves. This kind of attack, if successful, can make their cause known and increase member recruitment. Tubular assaults provide very little cover and minimal escape routes. The FBI SWAT operator, Ash, will be deployed for this situation. Her breaching rounds enable you to aggressively seize and control lines of fire. Eliminate all of the terrorists. I really didn't find this one too hard. The guys are kind of predictable. But you think that it would be like, I don't know, like the first one's super easy and the tenth one's super hard. But for this one being the fourth one, these guys are like always sitting in the same place and they don't like ever rotate or anything, so it's actually pretty easy. Um, if you just like drone it once or twice, you pretty much know where everyone's at. Um, and they're super predictable, like they're always in the same places. The only thing that differs is like, sometimes this guy has a shield, sometimes he doesn't, like this time he doesn't. Um, like sometimes they reinforce that door right there. And some walls they reinforce, and sometimes they don't. These guys are really impatient, so if they like they go behind something, you can just wait them out, because they're, I don't know, they can't wait for anything. This guy, you could try to peek. I could see him a little bit there, I think. No, that's a piece of metal. Never mind. Just keep pushing over until you can see him like that. It's really important not to take any damage right there, because you really need all of the damage you can get or all the health you can get for this right here sometimes there's a guy that pushes right here so you gotta watch out oh uh, yeah they reinforce this and they automatically push and the last guy is right behind here like that. Four eliminated. That was a very clean headshot. <laughs> the enemy has taken a hostage and equipped one of their members with a bomb vest. Ideally, your first bullet should neutralize the bomber. This is a cold zero situation. 
glass uses an OTS-03 short sniper rifle equipped with a scope and silencer, which enables him to eliminate hostiles from long and short range. Once you secure the hostage, smoke grenades can provide visual cover as you move between the buildings and shipping containers to the extraction point. Yeah, this one was by far... Oh. This one was by far the hardest out of all of them. Because you gotta kill them in a certain order. Or they're like... Some of them like find out and rotate or move or somehow. I don't know. I just found this one kind of harder than the rest of them. I found this one harder than the hardest one, like the 10th one. Or the one that's supposed to be the hardest one. But I've, I've only done these ones on normal, so I don't know. They could be harder on um, realistic. But I found out these guys, if you shoot these guys, I really want him to find me. Because then this one tries to peek out. This one actually sucks, because... You want you want to kill all four of these because it helps you in the long run. But stuff like this right here. This is why this guy sucks. He's gonna hide right in front of the hostage. Oh, he didn't this time. Oh, he's gonna run out. There we go. But. The less damage you take, the less you're gonna take in there, because you take like double what you would take out here, if not more. Um, oh dang, that guy was <laughs> he was ready. That means this guy might be ready. He usually, this guy usually doesn't hear me, but usually if that guy over there shoots, he hears me. Yeah, I played these a lot on normal. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna see if we can pull the regular guy out here. Come on out, buddy. <laughs> ah. Dang it. How do you not see me shoot? Boy, if I have bullets flying next to my head. Okay, this guy, like, are you sure this is unrealistic? <laughs> hey, look at the drone. There you go. Good job. Oh, there you go. Come on at me. Come on. There we go. There you go. That's all I need you to do. And then I come over here and I usually just, this guy kind of scares me. I don't like to go down that hallway because he'll run at you because that's what he does. Uh, but, um, comes around this corner or that corner, depending on which side of the rotation he's in. Come on, walk. Where is he? This is what scares me. He'll run at you, he'll shoot at you. Oh, it's. Uh, ugh. <laughs> it scares me when he, sh when he runs at me. Gotta watch out for this uh, C4 right here. This guy is pretty easy to kill. Well, maybe if you could shoot him the first time. Drop me his gun. Now, all these guys should be killed. So all you have to do is this guy. You can actually drone him out, but I already know where he's at, so. And I'm gonna go ahead and clear this room anyways, just to make sure there's no one else. Right. Um, my technique for this, I don't think anyone will run at you because I think we already killed everybody, but just in case. By the way, the reason for killing the guy down there with a the bomb vest, uh, instead of like going up top, 
instead of like coming up through the top like this and breaching through is because if you come to um, secure the hostage like this and you come down or even if you go around the building you're gonna he comes behind you and he tries to blow you up but at this point you're already clear so and I actually don't even use any I don't use any uh, weapons right here just make sure you save all your smokes They usually never hit you, so. And they don't ever chase you either, I don't know why. Ah, you got trash. Anyways, guys, that was the, uh, the uh, first five uh, situations on Realistic. If you guys want to see the next five, make sure you drop a like or tell me down in the description that you guys liked them. And I'll be doing the next five here pretty soon if you guys do that and uh, I might throw in the article five there I don't know it's not really like a situation but I guess it's kind of fun but anyways thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later peace out